Today we're going to pick up our third collection and this one's going to be awesome. I did get some pictures from the gentleman. I'm going to have to meet him about two and a half hours away. He's about four hours in total from my house, but he's really cool and he says he's going to meet me halfway. So we're meeting up, I think, at a Dunkin' Donuts parking lot. Always recommend if you're doing something like this to bring a friend with you. Never meet up with someone um, by yourself unless you're comfortable. We're going to be meeting him today at the Dunkin' Donuts. He's got five short boxes and a whole bunch of CGC slabs. He says he's looking to sell everything. I don't know if it's his entire collection but we'll definitely try to talk to him a little bit about it I'm not sure how much we'll be able to record but I'll try to get as much footage as we can and hopefully we'll be able to come home with everything but yeah I hope you guys are excited for the video and I'll bring you back once we get there just got to the Dunkin Donuts over here in Okeechobee it took me about two and a half hours to get down here but it wasn't a terrible ride I think it was a little over like 150 miles or something like that but it wasn't it wasn't super bad but we made it down here in one piece I'm definitely excited to check this collection out though um, I'm gonna be sitting here for probably about 20 minutes I got here a little early just to make sure he wasn't sitting around on me and yeah i'm pretty excited we're gonna go check it out i'm not too sure um where he's gonna want to do it if we're just gonna check it out in the car i'm gonna try to record as much as i can for everybody but i want to try to uh, i think he's gonna want to keep his information private so we'll see how cool he is with being recorded but i'll bring everybody back once he uh, shows up with the collection i'm pretty excited Hey man, what's going what's on, happening? Scott? Good to meet you. I just realized I know what you look like, but you don't know what. I yeah. Look like. <laughs> hey man, I really appreciate you meeting me halfway Dude, too. No problem. I learned some valuable lessons on that drive. Yeah. <laughs> was don't leave the house with 50 miles of gas. Oh yeah, dude. I when, same thing. When you, I never drive this car, so I was like, you know, I'll, I'll find some gas, and then I start driving, and I'm like. I'm in the middle of nowhere. There's no gas. Yeah, literally, I was doing the same thing. I was driving down, and we're in the middle of nowhere in Okeechobee over here. I pull it up on my phone, and it says, next gas station, 25 miles. And I had, like, 12 miles to empty, so I'm, like, I'm white-knuckling it. Yeah, at least you made it, though. I know how far it'll go when it says zero now. That's about awesome. 12 miles. So. Yeah, nice car, too. Uh, nice day for driving you, in the yeah, convertible. I, I don't get to take it out, so I said, it's dirty, but, you know... I'll be able to put the top down. And, yeah, it's a nice you know, day out today. Definitely a nice day. So. Yeah, a little bit of a drive, but I do appreciate you meeting me, man. Yeah, yeah. hey, it is what it is. You know, I mean, yeah. you can't, that's four hours is a long way to drive. Yeah, it's a little little bit of a drive for sure. So, <laughs> I'm excited uh, to check out everything you have, though. And Yeah, like I said, it's not, you know, nothing earth shattering, right? I don't think you're going to be like. You sent me some cool um, pictures, though, from like the CGCs and yeah, stuff. There's, there was... there's some good slaps. There's some, definitely some good, I mean, there's good books. I just, I never bought comics to sell them right like so everything was like reading it was stuff. either reading or i really love the cover and i would have it i had like you know i'm redoing my office so i had like a lot of slabs you know up on one wall just in the office and then i would switch them out you know every once in a while yeah to get a different kind of look a different yeah look. uh but i never intended to to sell them it's just they ended up like in a rack in the closet and then you know, I have two kids, so then like just stuff got messy, and then all of a sudden I've got these boxes everywhere. You Seems know. to be a big problem for and a lot of people in this space. I'm still reading, so like I'll still read. Like, you know, I have a detective run from 380. Who nice. So, but I, but that I love, right? I just I've been reading it since I was a kid, so yeah. like, I want to keep those because I have good memories of reading it. Uh, a lot of this stuff is stuff that I've read and then just, you know, file it away. And How many books in total did you say it was again? It looks like... I'm not sure. You I, got a bunch of stuff in Well, there. there's there's one more short box. Not all of, like, most of them are full. Okay. There's one more that I found, like, as I was loading the car. It was just, like, miscellaneous stuff that I had. And I don't even know what's in it. <laughs> and so I was like, I'll just throw it in there because it's, you know, it's not part of what I'm... Collecting? Right now. Yeah, okay. I'm only... I just decided, like, I'm not going to collect just to continue to stack them up. You know, like... Uh, I'll read, you know, I'll buy the books that I want to read every month. There's a lot of people that buy sometimes for investment purposes and you see that they stack up yeah. books and books. And yeah, so like most of the stuff is, there's a few boxes of stuff that is... Everything is um, got to go, right? You're looking to get rid of I the entire collection? I don't want to take any of it home. You know, I mean, just, I, I try doing the, just throw a book up here and there and eBay. You know, just, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with the shipping it and packing it and buying the buying the shippers and the bubble wrap and the you know it's I sold a lot, the, I yeah. sold a few things on eBay and I'm like you know people will still pay good money but then by the time I pay the fee and then the taxes and then like I'm losing 30 bucks just because so exactly like, yeah, I tell everybody a hundred dollar book is not a hundred dollars it's not no <laughs> when so, you sell it. Um, so yeah the, so some of them oh, uh, wow like that's a newsstand, 9-2 newsstand. So, I mean, that's still 
obviously all the newsstands have pretty good value. Yeah, that's probably his top cover too. McFarland's got a lot yeah. of covers. But this that's is a, one of his this best. is really good. The blue is really bright too, so that's a really and this one too. Like oh, that's a great one. It's a great yeah. book, and the blue is like pops. So what made you choose these books to get rid of? Since you said you were holding on to some, and so the only the only slabs at all that I kept was my. Uh, Frank Miller and Tom McFarlane's Bat, Spawn Batman. Oh, okay. That one is signed. And then I have a Stanley, one Stanley signed, and then I have a couple Chris Claremont slabs that are signed. Oh, well, this is fun. The fourth printing. That's a really good. I never intended even to have, to have that. I just had a fourth printing, and then I'm like. Is this expensive? I'm not sure what like the prices oh, are. Oh, it just on depends. That. They they've gone up to like 140, 150 for a fourth printing. You're a big Wolverine fan, I love huh? Wolverine, yeah. You got a huge selection yeah. here. Some good. Yeah, I can take them all. There's some good Wolverines, like some good like I collected mostly because of the covers, you know. And then you yeah, know, that's Miko, Miko Suyan. Yeah, covers. I, so some of the covers, and then you know everyone has this book. Of that's the great, think, yeah. But it's it's always a you know it's a good book. Uh, some like why like why did I I have no clue it's a cool cover did you, you know? send these in yourself or did you uh, buy them graded? some of them I bought graded some of them I sent in um, some of them it's like you know I just like the cover and it's you know why I don't know you know I mean I just got a collection in not too long ago recently and the guy said the same thing about the books he was like I, I was just buying them yeah like I, I liked I them like this one love the cover that's a sick you know? book though great yeah. cover you know if you're in a variant. Yeah, I mean, I just... Nightcrawler cover? Oh, uh, yep. This is uh, First Jubilee in costume. 9.8. Yep. Great. That's a Jim Lee cover, too, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's a nice... Just just a nice book. I just like the cover. Um, this one with the custom label. Another one. But, I mean, I have the trades, and I have the... You know, I have all of the... I have all of the story, right? At home, in some way or another. So, it's like... If they're going to be sitting in a closet... Another one, just this is a Captain Marvel two from nineteen sixty. Seems copy though, eight point yeah. five. Yeah, nice for an old book, you know. Like, you what know. were you into more, like the older stuff, the newer stuff? Um, I got a mixture of everything. Yeah, here. the older. I like a lot of the old covers. I really like the older. You know, I, I like the sixties to early to mid seventies covers. Um, you know, before they were digital. Um, same with that. Like, I just I'm a huge Star Wars fan, right? So I just like like looked like something I would draw as a kid. You know, um, I don't know, I can't actually tell even why. <laughs> Maybe it's like a little key or something. Yeah, who knows? You know, I just like, I liked it. Some of those Dark Horse books are... Um, this oh, one that's I, fun. This one I thought would have more value originally, and it didn't, you know, got a 9.4, so... Signed by Mike It's Mayhew. Mike Mayhew. Yeah, it's a good variant. It's a cool, it's a cool, it's a cool book, but I, I didn't, didn't have as much value as I thought. It came back as a 9.4. If it would have been a 9.8, yeah, it probably yeah, would have been a Same lot. with this, right? Like, this is a... This is an expensive oh, book. Oh, I've never seen that before. If it's a high grade, it's an expensive book, but it's, you know, came back a 7.5. I wonder why it came so back a 7.5. Sometimes with those modern books, it's... It's right there in the corner, I think. You know? You think that's it, though? It, it's, 7.5? I mean, the rest of the book looks pretty good. Yeah. And inside was great, but, you know, again, you don't know. You never know. Yeah, when you send stuff to CGC, yeah. the that, Watcher, that, I've never seen that. That one I thought... You know, I thought it was like one of the ones that was optioned. Oh, okay. So I thought, oh, maybe it'll be. So did you speculate a lot on books when you first started? Um, not a lot. I wouldn't say I speculated. I just, if I saw a book on the shelf and I thought, you know, they're going to option it or maybe, then I would pick it up, try it, have a few copies of it, cancel it. So I remember you saying you had some something killing the children also. I do have probably the first well not one and not five because i sold those immediately after i read them those are easy sales yeah they, i was they like were i got i think i got 200 bucks for number one like six months after if the I, if you have the first print yeah i that did one. yeah and so i was like i may as well just get rid of it because i've already read it and i have the trade and i have the hard bound copy uh, and then number five as well i got rid of it quick because it had huge value and i'm like i'm not collecting it but i got the i have a I have a variant cover of number two, and then everything through 16. That is really cool, too. That's, That's a, a second printing second of number printing. two. Big old CGC case. There. I had a third printing of number one, um, and I got rid of it like two years ago, probably, when it was like everyone was chasing it. And I'm like, there's no reason for me to keep this. Like, I still read Turtles. I read it like monthly, but I wasn't collecting it. It was just, it was just in the way. This is probably my favorite, one of my favorite books. Oh, great one uh, right there, not, yeah. Not a high grade, but this book in a mid grade, I just, I wanted it, right? I like I like looking at it, it's a great cover. 
first Doctor Strange in his own title. Right. Same with this, right? Like, oh, I actually just picked one of those up too. Yeah. In, in another collection, it's a five point five. Yeah. So, I just awesome cover, you know. Brother, again, first appearance. I have the trade. You know, I have, I have all the collected editions of all of these. So I'm not missing anything other than they're just sitting in a closet, right? So So that's really the biggest reason you're wanting to get rid of everything is just to make some space, I guess. Yeah, I'm not I mean, I'm not doing anything with them. I probably had six or eight at any time displayed in my office and I would just rotate, but the rest of the time they're just, you know, in a storage, just in a shelf in the closet. Um it's time, you know, like I got my kids I, I do older. appreciate you reaching out to me too. You didn't want to like go to like your comic shop or so something. So I'm from Massachusetts. Okay. Uh, I moved here about almost three years ago. Uh, so I still buy my comics from Comic Book Palace. I don't know if you know Glenn. I he, do not. He stirred controversy up like a month ago because he was talking about creators. He said, give me a good story. Oh yeah, yeah, the, he has a YouTube channel yeah, actually, so that, yes. that is my LCS for forever. I've been buying comics from him forever. And so he still ships my comics once a month. So everything that I subscribe to, he packs it up, ships it. I just got a shipping yesterday. So, um, you know, for me to ship everything, and he probably would have consigned a lot of it for me, but for me to ship this to him, he doesn't want to deal with that. He doesn't really deal in slabs. You know, he's an old school LCS. I was just about to say a lot of those old school guys. Just not his thing. Don't and like so, him. Um, you know, I like him though. I mean, definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's it's nice having stuff slab because you know what it is, especially stuff like this because it's hard to grade these. Yeah. Myself personally, and then you know there's no restoration on it. Right. Yeah. I mean, some of them, you know, like some of the, a lot of this is CBCS. That whole stack, I think. So this this is actually a good book. First appearance of a lot of these. That again, you know. Anatrocitus too, right? Yeah, uh, Anatrocitus. Uh, Monk Anatrocitus. Yeah, you, yes. have, you have both of them in there. Yeah, so good copy. You know, it's got some a little bit of corner wear, but it's still a good book. And if someone doesn't doesn't need a 9.8 and want it. Oh, there you go, Wolverine. Yeah, there's a there's a newsstand. Are you a newsstand collector? Do you prefer If I'm going to buy a book like this, I'll, I'll pay more and just buy the newsstand. Because I know, regardless of, I mean, there's, there's a million copies of it, but I know that there's less. So to me, like, it's always going to be, I'd rather have a 9.2 or a 9.4 newsstand than a 9.6. I mean, a 9.8 I would probably take direct, but if I'm going to buy a copy, I'd rather just pay for the newsstand. This is obviously that's first book. Taskmaster, yeah. yeah old this is, CGC. This case. is an old CGC case, but still a great book, you know? That's probably the oldest. Maybe one of the, these two are probably the oldest ones I have. Yeah, I, I actually don't have any CGC graded uh, magazine, so that'll be the okay. first one. Again, I bought it because the cover. You know, like that's an amazing cover. Wolverine Sabretooth. Mark Silvestri. I mean, unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, this is second printing, but it's signed. Who's that Gar signed by? Garth Ennis. Oh, cool. Yep. Yep. It's a. It's one of the Bam Box exclusive signings, but cool cover. Yeah, that one is pretty popular when the show comes oh, out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Everybody always asks for that. That's a fun one. This just... McFarlane. Yeah, I, I like any Todd McFarlane cover, so... You know, and I actually like... I prefer the C, CBCS cases to the CGC cases. You think they're a little sturdier? Or? I just like them. I just feel like they stack easier. They they feel like... They feel like the book is more secure. Um, That's a fun cover. That's an awesome cover, yeah. Again, right, the old, the cover's like, someone drew this on paper, right, not, and nothing against the digital art, but like, this is what I grew up with, so, and some of these are just, you know, I'm a huge Alien fan, I'm a huge Predator fan, so I like the old Dark Horse Alien Predator stuff. That's, that's cool, that's, yeah, that's cool to me, cover. like, that's something that I would get a tattoo of, you know, yeah. like, it's just like, <laughs> cool, uh, nice Peach Momoko. Yeah, that's a great cover. You know? Oh, that's fun there, too. Oh, this is, I don't, I can't even, I don't even remember when I got this, but I couldn't find anything on it. It's, I mean, it has to have some value. 1956, yeah, yeah. it's definitely, uh, you know, it's a nice book. I, really, what these books, it's all about the, uh, the, who published it. So you got Atlas, which right. was before Marvel. Right. And then it's all about the cover. Sometimes if you have like the females on there, the bondage covers, yep. those ones do really well. But that's a cool one. It's really cool. Frozen Alive. That's a sick book, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Cap. This is one of the ones I couldn't couldn't tell you why. Yeah, seven five. Yeah, that's like a three dollar book, I think. <laughs> yeah, exa again, you know, this one because of Wolverine. McFarlane, yeah, know, great cover. I I like any anything Wolverine. This is another one. This is like an old. Oh, that's good. Crime does not pay. Yeah. Nineteen fifty two. 
Number 109, but it's still 1952. Yeah, and it's 10 cent. 3.0. Yeah. Pretty solid grade. I mean, it's it's all there. No, no restoration. Right. Oh, it says center fold the center fold at the top there. Yeah, yeah, I didn't notice that. <laughs> it's pretty fun. But it's still a nice display. Yeah. Color. No, yeah. it's good. Some walking uh, dead. So, yeah, some just like Death of Abraham. You know, if you're a Walking Dead fan, you know, I, I don't, again, this is probably, makes no sense, that should never have been slab, but it was, this one, I just, I was like, looking at the Batman, the gray and the blue, so, you know, this is, that's pretty cool, I like any of the, that is a really cool, I like all the death metal stuff, yeah, Ryan Brown variant, yep. 9.8 signed. Yep, sorry for the dust there. No, you're good, man, as long as... <clears throat> yeah, another Walking Dead. I don't even know what it what even happens. The pieces look solid, too, like no cracks or nothing. No, no, That's no. That's pretty no. much what I, I, I you look for. I take care of my stuff, man. I'm not, I mean, I'm, you know, it's just... You know, I didn't think about it. I got to figure out a way to store these yeah. in the car. <laughs> Take the bin. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel, I don't want your wife to get mad. Sarah would kill me if I gave some of my bin. I have a hundred of them. <laughs> we buy them all I the time. I appreciate it, man. I didn't even think about we it. We buy them all the time. You know, a Benjamin Percy, Wolverine. That style. one is nice. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. It's a great cover. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Invincible. This is just, I love that. And that's like. I don't have any Invincible either, yeah. so that'll be the... This, nice I like the Ryan Otley covers, you know, like that. That's just, that's cool to me. I like the blood. And, again, you know, this is kind of like just a joke. And I only got it because I was like... I've never seen that before. I've never seen the book in my life. It's cool, you got Doctor Doom on there too. And I was like, it's, you know, Spider-Man and Superman and dude, like... I just thought it was cool. I didn't really care about the grade. 1995. Yep. I've don't, never seen that before. That is pretty cool. It's non-numbered, so I don't, like, I have no idea, and whoever slabbed it did Worst case, it's a great giveaway book. Yeah, you know? that's, that's what I was, <laughs> like, it, I don't, whoever slabbed it did nothing to it. Like, they could have pressed it and tried to clean it up, but, uh, who knows? I mean, it's a cool book. I mean, it's a cool looking. Yeah, it's a great book. cover. Uh, there's a, just a couple more. Lots of slabs. So these are all the slabs. Yeah, these are everything. I think, I think this 50. Should be about fifty. And what was the? Are you okay with talking about price in the video too? I can cut it out if you don't want to. I'd rather not. Okay. I mean, we. What does? It doesn't really matter. But what price know. were you looking to get for everything? I remember you on the phone were saying. You know, just yeah. Another one, and then a dark hawk. Just again, I like the cover. Yeah, with Venom. Um, I tried to buy. I was like really getting into Walking Dead, and I was trying to buy like, like any of the lower number ones that I could. I have uh, an issue 10 if you're looking for one. I'm not going to collect them anymore. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one I, I actually maybe remember bought because of the back cover of the Invincible, but either way, you know, and then uh, Leonardo number one, low grade, but such a cool book. That is. I, I've never seen that cover before. Is that people the first like print? This is first. Yeah. 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 This is a, um, this is the only issue with the wraparound cover. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's cool. I liked it with the foot soldiers on the back. It's kind of. It was just cool, you know. Is that an Eastman cover? This is uh, Steve Bissett. Oh no, no, it is. A, it's cover. It's Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird cover. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, the inside is uh, Steve Bissett. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah, you know? it's it's a lot of stuff for sure, man. It's a lot it of definitely stuff. is. Yeah. That's awesome though. The more the merrier, and I'm definitely. Uh, I tried to reach out to someone locally. There's a guy in Naples that sells books. And he said he doesn't do any slabs. He just does raw books. Oh, so he turned the collection down because he didn't want the slabs? Yeah. He didn't even... He was like, just sell them online. I don't want to waste your time. Because I was like, okay. I mean, I, he didn't wow. even... You know, I figured, well, it's close, right? He's 10 minutes from me. Yeah, it, it's hard, though. A lot of people want the old he, stuff. So the modern wanted, books are... He wanted the raw stuff. But, you know, I'm not looking for a million dollars, but he, you know, he's going to pay like 10 cents a book. And it's like, yeah, I get it. You know, you're trying to... You're trying to get paid, but yeah, exactly. You got to be uh, respectful you know, at a certain not, point. I'd rather keep it rather than give it away for nothing. It was more like a personal collection, just stuff I really liked. You know, like That's covers that I liked. It's a kind of old, bad condition, but X-Men 33. As long as they're complete. This does have the. Uh, this is the one that that has the, uh, the bad word in it. You know, you know about that? No. Okay, so this issue. I didn't know about that. There's a. They recalled this. They did? Yeah, yeah. This book got recalled. I didn't know that. And then reprinted because I've had that book so many times. Yep. So always check for um, what page is it? I can bleep it out. He calls him a. Oh, book. that's not this issue. I know exactly. That? It's that's Wolverine one. 
Um, I know exactly what you're talking about now. That's Wolverine one. Um, it's a Wolverine issue. It's a later one. Are you sure it's not this one? Yeah, I, I know for exactly which one you're talking about. The recall. I thought this was the one. I was, I was pretty sure. Where he's talking to Sabretooth, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. I know exactly which one. It's, it's that thing. That is in here. Right? I'm pretty sure. Actually, that's a pretty, uh, pretty hard one to find. This, oh, you got a raw copy too. So this one I've had since I was a kid. So this has just been in my possession for, for I mean, since it came out. So I don't know when this came out. Uh, 1987. So since I was nine. Right? Wow. This is probably the oldest book that I have from when I was a kid. And I oh I always wanted a. A slabbed copy so when I got a chance to buy the newsstand I jumped on it but uh yeah this is cool that's this this brings back a lot of memories you know nine years old for 75 cents imagine that it's a giant size Doctor Strange number one that's a great juggernaut yeah, cover I love juggernaut covers uh, this king Daredevil size Daredevil one. 2 nice Silver Age box yeah here. there's some there's not a lot. That's a cool. I like that Marvel Tales. That's yeah, it's the reprint of the the Rhino, right? Yep. yep. Sixty four pages. Oh, that's a cool one. That I always I liked because I couldn't afford the one twenty nine. So to me, like, you know, pretty much the same, right? Other than the money. That's a great. This one. This is too. Origin of Black Widow and New Black Widow costume. Yeah. Okay. Cool book. Oh, that's great too. Yep. This Dorenko. Yep. Yep. Someone wrote their name on the top. This is a Transformers one. It's a really good book. It's one I thought about sending in because it's it's in. I mean, it's a couple little spine ticks, but it's a really good condition book. A lot of collectors like picking that up raw, though. Yeah. People like reading that. This is a Infinity Gauntlet one and four, both in really really good shape. That's a Claremont a signature. That one. So I saw you had one. Yep. You sent me a picture that had like the uh, COA with it. Is that it? Right here on the back. Oh yeah, yeah that's the, the one with the COA. Yeah. There's the uh, um, first appearance of Joe Fixit. First right? Joe Fixit, yep, yep, yep. Those are nice. The 91. That one is in bad shape, but that's one of my favorite covers of all time. Great Doc Ock, yeah. Any Spider Man under 100 is very yep. collectible. Oh, that's cool. I've never yeah. seen that this before. This is the. Um, God, I can't remember where, what country it's from. It's in a different language. Yeah, so this is. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's in a different language. I forget. Um, Maybe someone else will know what that is. Yeah, it's cool though. That is a really cool yeah. book. I've never seen it. It's kind of like an ash can size. Yeah, it's small. Okay. Yeah, lots of cool stuff. Let's see if I can get it back in the, the Wolverine. This sleeve here. Um, yeah, so I just was picking up Wolverine sometimes as I as I found them. You know? Yeah, these are great. Um, these are Mignola covers, I think, some of them. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. The Jim Lee cover. Yeah, great cover. Spider-Man, ooh, Daredevil, 137, Dead of Night, issue three, Silver Surfer reprints, that's a nice one. Oh, that one probably, my son was probably flipping through it. X-Men Adventure yeah. Wolverine, oh, here you go, that's a nice variant. Yeah. Dang. I got some Scotty Young, oh, here, this is the one that was recalled. Oh, that's it, yeah, yeah. This is yep. the recall one, go. yeah, you can always tell because the, uh, the recalled one will have the one one, and then the, like the okay, recalled one will have the two. Yeah, you know more than I do. So, yeah, great. I don't, you know, I got it. I've, I've had it for a while. So, there's an Eastman signed. Oh, that's awesome. Batman signed. TMNT, yeah. Tony <clears throat> Daniel that signed too. Yeah, Tony Daniel signed. There's some more. Just you know, Wolverine. Web number one. Web number one. I don't know why I have that in there. Probably that one's in pretty poor shape, but. Some, some Doctor Strange in here, some Nick Fury. Strange Tales, Strange Tales. Oh, these Strange Tales are cool, though. Yeah, they're cool. the covers are awesome. You know, again, like, I was buying them because I thought they were, like, just really cool covers. Yeah, some of these Strange Tales are, like, this one's awesome, too. As long as they're complete and in nice shape. Yeah, these are cool. Yeah, for the age, they're, that's in really good shape. Oh, wow, yeah. 54. Oh, well, that's a cool Dakin cover. Yeah, some variant covers. More variant covers. Some direction. Two number three. three. <clears throat> that's uh 
Oh, you got me excited for a second. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you got me excited for a second. No. Reprint. Still yep. a cool one, though. I actually don't have this reprint. That's awesome. I always wanted that book, and, you know. Oh, that's the set of, that's the two Blade Runners. Indiana Jones. You know, like I said, there's nothing like, nothing that's earth shattering, right? Yeah, but it's still some great some, stuff, though. But there's some just good stuff, and I, you know. Good titles. Luke Cage is popular. People like Luke Cage. Iron Fist. Another older Captain Marvel. I don't want to, uh... Yeah, anyway. Oh, yeah, these are cool. Issue number three. Ghost Rider number nine. Let me, um, if, if it's okay with you, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Okay. Could I check out, like, one more yeah. of the modern boxes, yeah, no, maybe? This is all modern. Oh, so those are all just, like, variants? These are, stuff. these are mostly, well, it's, again, right, it's like, there's some mixed-in stuff. Here, these are a lot of, like, Marvel Zombies, a lot of variants. There's a ton of stuff like that. There's a couple, one, number one, number one. Strange Academy. Strange Academy. Some of this is newer. Uh, Berserker stuff. This is all sudden. All the something's killing the children that I have. Oh, that's number. So that's number two in there, though. Yes. Isn't yep. Number two's in there. Yep. Yep. Number two's in there. And uh, then these. So everything comes yep. with it, huh? So some these are. Predator, Scotty. These are all some. This is some new stuff that I was reading, right? Um, and then this is all this. This has all the. Um, there's some good venom, actually. Some, uh, oh, that's a great one. There, funeral yeah. pyre, that whole set is in there. The mace is in there. Oh, that one's cool. There's Isn't two, that glow in the yep, dark? There's two of them. Yeah. You know, some good venom, older venom. And then this is all like that stuff I sent you. The oh, there's thing. the yeah. pictures. So these are really nice so too. Demon, there's a lot of. Uh, these, uh. It's a lot of older DC. Yeah, uh, these swamp things. It's like some Jimmy Olsen in there. There's, you know. House of Secrets. <laughs> Demon, yeah, those are, yeah. Those are nice. I, I really appreciate you giving me a call. Once again, I don't want to sound like a broken no, record, but no, not a big deal. I always appreciate when people call me with with their personal oh, collections and give us first dibs. I, you know, I like you guys. I, Thank you, man. I do, I, I do appreciate it. I can yeah. tell, like, when I see it, I can see like you guys love it. Thank you. <laughs> you know, like seriously, like I. It's nice when you see someone that like. You're not ripping people off, right? You're giving people good deals. You're you love it, and I love comics. I love to read them. I just don't want to collect them anymore. Let's get it all loaded yeah. up and I'll get you the cash and stuff, man. Yeah, I mean, oh, this is... This is another... This is all, like... This is, like, the current run of Thor until I stop reading it. Oh, wow. And, and then a bunch of there's, like... Incredible Hulk. There's a Hulk 161. There's, like, some other... This is all Hulk that I was reading. Daredevil. Oh, Daredevil. 25's in there, I think. Yeah, 20... Yeah. So, I mean, there's some good stuff. This could be the box... Yeah, this is the one that I, like... Strapped him in nice and tight. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it has like a, I opened it up and it had like a a daffy duck on it, and I'm like, I don't ever remember like getting those, so I just was like the whole mystery box. It's gonna be fun going through. I have this no I get clue, home. bro. I don't know what's in it. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's gonna be a mystery. Uh, <laughs> we got everything though. Yeah. The slabs and all, and I do appreciate you giving me the tub. Dude, I should have remembered mine from home. Don't worry about it, dude. Whatever. I mean. It's, you know, it's from Target, and the tiles cost five bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather them be protected and then not uh, not have to worry about them rattling around. Awesome. Are you going to MegaCon this year? I have no idea, actually. I don't think, I, I, we'll be there all four days. If you're going to go, I'd love to love to catch up with you, man. Okay. It's next week, so. Oh, it's next week? Yeah. I'm going on a cruise. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's probably better, though. <laughs> a, Disney, a Disney cruise with... Uh, a four and an eight year old? Oh, maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe Megacon by yourself yeah, is better. Yeah. Oh, and there's another box in there. For yeah. That. Oh, yeah. wow. This, this was. Yeah, that was the. This um, was the. The what if. Yeah. Yep. Fantastic Four. I don't know what's doing. You know, some of the. It's all. It's mostly once in future, all the. We only find them when they did that flop. That was a horrible story. You didn't like that no, one? No. <laughs> I was excited to read it and then. Nope. I find that with a look. I mean, I like a lot of the independent stuff, uh, but I find I get excited about too many of them, mm. and then I read them, and I'm like, three issues, and I'm like, this is, this is good. I think that's a lot of people, too, because they, like, get excited, and then everything gets optioned, and this and that, and then before you know it, they don't do anything with it. That's what happens Something's Killing the Children, I think, because everybody kind of just yep. got excited for the show, and then... Great story, though. 
They're gonna do something with it one day. House of Slaughter, terrible though. You didn't like House of Slaughter? Not at all. Nope. Nope. I started reading it, got excited about it, canceled it. I cancel a lot of books. I fire a lot of books. <laughs> I wait too long sometimes. Like I was gonna say, what's your cutoff? Like how many issues do you usually go? It depends. Like four, I let go too long, right? I was loving it. And then it was like just every issue I was like waiting for something to happen. You know, I probably hung on ten issues too long. Same with like Immortal Hulk, I loved the entire run, great. I haven't the last two Hulks, terrible. Just like you know, same with Venom, right? It was amazing. And then they switched writers, Hulk and Venom. No good. For me, anyway. You know, just... I want my old Hulk back. You know, I want my 90s Hulk back. I'll keep reading. Like I said, just... No more collecting. What are you enjoying these days? What are you reading? Uh, I'm reading the... Uh, the Enfield Gang, actually. That's a new book that's out. That's from the... That Texas Blood. It's kind of in that world. Really good book. Uh, I'm reading that. Something's killing the children. Still reading Detective, although I haven't... Liked the... The Rom V. I, I haven't really... I haven't cared for like the last year or so. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, you see them on the shelves every week, and not too many people buy the detective nope. except for like the variants, I think. Is I'm what hanging it on is. just because I'm waiting for someone to get on it that I like the writing. You know, same with like Batman. I, I've, I've always read Batman, so I'll keep reading it. It's okay. Nightwings has been pretty good. You know, that's probably been my favorite out of the mainstream stuff and the Nightwing stuff. I really do appreciate you driving out here, man. I'm gonna drive home the long way so I can go through civilization. All right, man. I take care, all right? Thank That's you very it. much, Scott. Thanks, bud. We just picked up the collection. Scott is an awesome dude. That was the best pickup by far we've gotten in, in a long time. The pickup we got last week was really awesome too, but this one was was amazing. There's a lot of cool books. There's gonna be lots of stuff for the house sale, lots of stuff to list on whatnot. I'm sweating over here though. It's a hot day. I'm gonna go get something to drink at the gas station and then I'm gonna head home. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Comment down below what you think of the pickup and we'll see you in the next one.